Is the stream up or? Yep, stream's up. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Overwatch Oasis. We are now in week five of this season. We had an off week for tier three, and now we are back. Tier three resuming. What? Week is a good one. Cosmic Omnix versus Pizza Planet. Two of the teams that have been in this league since the beginning. This rivalry goes way back at this point, so it'll be interesting to see how this iteration plays out. And I am, of course, joined by Zanny Boy, and Kuroa is the caster. Hello. Um, yeah, this is going to be an exciting match. Um, KO coming off of a lackluster season um, last season I think they can really bounce back here if they play like um, I think they are very capable of playing better than they did uh, Pizza Planet coming off of a pretty strong season last season let's see if they can continue their role from I believe uh, week three's win for them yeah both of these teams are one and one right now so Getting a win here is going to be crucial. Yeah, we see the Ryan Sigma from Pizza Planet and a Ryan Ball from uh, from Cosmic Omnix. Let's see how this goes. Look at this teleport uh, strat from Pizza Planet. Ooh, teleport, teleport the coming through. Take the high ground immediately, getting your junk right up there just to bring in damage and already at 40, 52 charge. That is insane. Insane dropping low. Griffin goes down low on that Reinhardt. Insane takes him out, and Pizza Planet already rolling on through with that quick pick on that Reinhardt. You can't lose him that early. Yeah, perfect job playing around the shield. Griffin did get the pin there onto Insane, but just couldn't get the follow-up. The, the rest of the team was too far back and couldn't break through the shield, so Pizza Planet were able to easily collapse onto Griffin and take him out. Great peel from the supports too, making sure Insane was able to have enough health to battle that Rhine. Roll on through from Swede, he's gonna get caught a little bit. Psycho dropping low. As Cosmic Dom is taking that high ground, taking out that teleporter, making sure the quick reinforcement cannot happen here. Reinhardt pinning in, just getting a little bit too deep here. He's getting the healing though from AJ, but he is getting jumped on. And he goes down, that is a really tough play there. Base Grey though does come back with a pick off to the Moira. Psycho on to Dylan though and that Ooh, oh that's wait crazy. KO has a chance here. Base Grey on that high ground still someone's gotta get him off that high ground before he oh the nano comes through too. Yeah this is this looks like KO has flipped the fight. Griffin comes through with the pin and KO does get the flip at 63% and um, really good comeback there from KO. They lose their Ryan early, but Mace Gray with a couple really good picks does bring that back. But the MVP of that fight was Anime Weeb AJ. He stayed on that high ground, did a good job at healing everyone, and then hit the massive anti on the Psycho Man to see him fucking insane. Left them way too low. The healers were down. They couldn't do anything. That, that was the team fight at that point. Psycho with the tire though. This could be a really big ult for Pizza Planet if they use it right. Mines get dropped in the back line. And Psycho gets stuck. Shattered from Insane. Gets Griffin. Griffin goes down. But Sweet gets Glob Dragon. Ooh, this is very even here. Maybe Spray with the attack visor. Gets. Gets poopy. Uh, Zombie Dylan gets Insane. And. Our fault gets fishy, and uh, that's team fight win for KO and pretty clean, I would say. Yep, the, the Swede did an excellent job, actually able to zone out the heat, uh, the DPS. Sorry, with uh, the mines, Zombie Dylan was able to get an easy stick on the Psycho Man. Just so good play there from Swede and Zombie Dylan. Griffin caught a little deep in, on the shatter. Doesn't get anything with it. And four ults used from Pizza Planet. Oh, that might have been... That could have very well been used way better there. They came into the fight with four ults and used all four. 
But Mantis does make the switch to the Doomfist, maybe coming in to maybe contest his KO with the clean three piece from pretty much the DPS. Sweet taking out Poopy, and here comes Mantis and um, I believe Fishy on the stall. AJ goes down to Fishy though. Fishy popping that coalescence, trying to stay alive. Mantis goes down to the Moira. Fishy gets our funk though. Mace Gray still on that high ground though. They gotta get rid of him. But the reinforcements for Pizza Planner are there. It looks like they might get the flip here. Mace Gray just trying to stay high ground and get those picks on Soldier. Puck gets Zombie Dylan. Sights go up, get Glob Dragon. Interesting play. And Stan goes down. Well, KO Bray will have to bring this back. AJ has been on that high ground, just getting the healing. Mantis slept. Anti. Puck just swinging around, trying to create some disturbance and just mid fight. But now two spinning balls on point, just popping each other back and forth. Mantis, uh, Glob Dragon comes back on the Junkrat. Insane approaching Shatter here. Could be huge for Pizza Planet if they can keep fighting and they get the flip. Oh, Griffin isn't yeah, touching in time. Cosmonauts are going back up. They got to back out here. God, the DPS, we're playing that pretty well. I, I like this this team composition here. You got Mace Ray from the high ground peppering in a lot of damage and Zombie Dylan doing a good job at avoiding death on the low ground, but. In that final staggering team fight, they couldn't quite get the picks to go their way. Yet again, AJ, the MVP of that fight, just staying up in the back line, healing the teammates. Sweet minds go down. Oh my god, KO! With a almost completely clean team fight with the loss of Sweet, though. Team kill comes through. And that's gonna be the end of round one, it looks like. No one's gonna be able to touch. Insane job by KO in that last team fight. And Zombie Dylan getting the kill onto Insane with the Shatter. I mean, Cosmic Omnix, they had the alt advantage, but Insane maybe could have turned that around. So great play from Zombie Dylan, who's having an excellent game so far. Has been a little more quiet than I was expecting this season. Had a breakout, had some breakout performances last season, but now it looks like he's ready to get themselves in this uh, conversation for elite DPS in tier 3. Definitely. Um, I think that a lot of those plays, though, were made by Mace Gray and AJ. They were the ones that stayed alive the longest and just kind of stayed on that high ground and kept firing. An insane job by both teams, but I really think KO just looks really strong right now. I do like uh, the swap to the, the Sombra here. They can go up to the high ground and try and hack AJ or Mace. Well, you'd be more, you get more value by hacking the... Club gets a quick point on Moira and insane pins Mace Gray. Already KO down two. Uh, you just see a Sigma Zarya here coming in from KO. A very unusual comp to see. The Ryan Diva from Pizza Planet, which I've seen a lot lately. It's a really good comp. Uh, Sombra in the back just trying to hack that tracer prevent zombie Dylan from getting much value Hacks the Sigma I believe And they're just gonna keep pushing on through Mace Cray though and zombie Dylan the two DPS yet again Just plopping off getting the picks Griffin DMX punk and it looks like pizza planets here just reeling a bit trying to maybe gather some gather their belongings Griffin gets a pick on insane and Griffin with the big two-piece Dylan gets glob and and it looks like Pizza Planet's not gonna be able to keep that point for long. Only able to get, I don't know, about, oh wait, Psycho on the stall. And yeah, only about to get 30%, 29 actually. Only 29% though, and Mace Gray and Mantis kind of just running along each other. There, that's interesting. Yeah, it's Zombie Dylan just kind of getting away in the back lines here. No one's, no one's even looking at him from Pizza Planet. They need to figure out how to shut him down, whether that be with a tracer of their own, or perhaps going in the brig, maybe. Let's run a punk. Mantis gets a huge, uh, two kill, uh, two kill, uh, double kill there. Sorry, lost a word. Uh, Zombie Dylan gets Mantis, though. Punk gets anyway, we AJ. Wait, Pizza Planet looking to flip it around here. Glob gets another pick, and 
KO, not able to, not able to sustain here. The bubble on the maze great, maybe just get a little bit more time, but they're only gonna be able to, oh wait, another stall here from the ball. Wait, are they attempting to fight this here? No. Wait, the nano they one was get a nano out of oh. it on the shatter, but ah, oh, that's uh, and his name insane. That was, that was it. That was insane. <sighs> I was about to uh, compliment Pizza Planet on the fact that they only had to use a sound barrier to initiate there and win the team fight, but I, I wasn't too upset with the use of the nano shatter there because that just completely shut down any possible recontest oh, that Cosmonomics had there. Here we come shoot EMP bomb ending the fight before it even begins. Oh my Oh my not not the bomb uh, that is that's gotta be that's gotta be tough because you only got one team fight left now but Glob Dragon has the only alt for Pizza Planet. And b beyond just the fact that it was an EMP bomb, like CM Punk put that in a nice spot. He actually kind of put it in the corner where a couple people tried to retreat. Like there are some cover spots that you could use there where he placed it, but he actually put it in a nice spot to get the three people who were vulnerable. Tire comes through, gets three! Oh my! And that looks like a lost team fight for KO. Mace Gray is able to come through, get a quick pick. And another. We used attack blaster. Yeah, I was going to say, what are you doing? Mace Gray popping off. He's got to get a point, though. Gets Glob. Mace Gray might be a one a one man army here. In comes Sweet. Solid long enough backup. for Sweet to come back, yeah. Oh my. Huge play from Mace Gray. Just when he thought the round was over, there goes Punk. KO might be able to flip here. Oh my! Just when you thought it was over, Maze Gray comes through with a big triple kill. Ah! Uh, no way! And a beautiful play, the Swede able to take out CM Punk, from, CM Punk before they were able to remake. That was pivotal for making sure that team fight did go in the way of Cosmic Comics. AJ under pressure, doesn't get taken out. Mantis though. Is the one that ends up getting taken down here by Zombie Dylan. Zombie Dylan having a great game on Tracer. And yeah, we'll see if he can get another stick here. He's gotten several this game. Stick comes through. Zombie Dylan ends up getting another pick. Zombie Dylan making even more plays than expected here. And we have AJ gets Mantis. But Swede overextended, gets slept, trapped, and mined. That's and a rough is, combo. This is actually scary, because look at how many alts are coming online for Pizza Planet, but they got a touch, only 3% left. Griffin limiting the touch. Touch comes in for Poopy, though. Slept, Nano, Rhyme. Shatter comes through on the Griffin, just making sure that Diva doesn't get in the team fight, but don't finish him. EMP coming through, but KO! Gets the picks, even though the ults were used for Pizza Planet, KO seems to be getting the picks here. Last chance here for Glob's tire. And three oh. ults for Pizza Planet, I mean, KO to finish this fight off, even if they needed them. But it doesn't look like they do. And KO takes map one. Oh man, that was, whew, that was insane. Yeah, we saw good stick from zombie Dylan onto insane took him out right before they got the shatter and a couple more members of Pete's planet just kind of fell before they could get that contest on point and by then by the time they contested they had already used the sound pair because they needed that to contest and then they used the EMP and the shatter but didn't get a lot of value because cosmic Omics, they knew they just needed to back up and you know, just kind of win the long fight on that. So, excellent job from Cosmic Comics to notice their win condition there and to execute it as they did. And what a play from Mace Gray there on that soldier. Like, that was a lost round, I thought. And then he just comes in, gets a quick three piece, and has the ball to come back and stall form as he just regroups with the rest of his team and. Great job by KO. Honestly, that is a 
good map win for them. They they have some momentum going into Hollywood. And that was uh, Pizza Planet's first loss there on Control. It's also the first time that Cosmic Omics has won a map one so far, so interesting Two. turn of events here. Yeah, you'd think, based off those statistics, that Pizza Planet would have the advantage here going into map one, but no, they and end Pizza up... P Pizza Planet all time has been pretty good on control maps. That's... I, I don't know what it is. I think it's mainly they, they they've put in glob dragon a lot on the control maps, and when they're able to get the sim online or the junk rat, which glob was playing there, and are able to stay on the point, they can be nigh unstoppable. But good job from Mace Cray and Zombie Dylan. I have a feeling we're gonna be saying their names a lot here throughout this. Nerdy matchup. in the chat saying, "Heck yeah, we are about that being good at control point," but uh. Glob had a very good sh outing, but I really think the thing that brought Pizza Planet down there was not able to finish kills on point before the round was over. You saw, I saw on City Center there that they were kind of like just kind of waiting for overtime to tick down instead of looking for people coming in. And Mace Gray was just able to come in, get a pick on an un like a uh, clueless Psycho Man is there, and kind of just it was able to steamroll through there. So I just think. Pizza Planet just need to get their head straight when it comes to watching reinforcements because that was a very, very surprising map win. We are going to see a few substitutions here. Korean Wannabe and Super Ninja. I do like that combo a lot right there. They've shown some very nice things. Fishy going to go to tank and CM Punk's going to go to support. Interesting. I want to say, did they play a little support in their Rogue Ninjas game? I I don't recall. I think CM Punk has played support in the past, but definitely more known for that diva. Yeah, you do see uh, Fishy going to tank too, which is, I mean, not a big surprise, but Fishy seemed to do, be, be doing... Pretty good at that healer position, but Super Ninja, a very good McCree who can get picks, and then Korean who is an insane tracer as we've seen in past games. Korean and Super Ninja are a dangerous duo if you don't focus them down and make sure that you notice that they are there because they will punish you if you don't. Ooh, and uh, interesting development here. Uh... Luckily, Cosmic Onyx are not going to have to forfeit that match, but we do see Kakashi not going to be able to play for the rest of the game was in the stream during that, so... Ooh. That is going to be tough for Cosmic Onyx. That means Griffin is going to be their main tank for pretty much the rest of this match. That's That's got to hurt for KO. But we have seen some. We have seen some behavioral issues with Kakashi in the past, so. <laughs> yeah, one of the more uh, infamous members of the server, but obviously he's a very good player in their own right. Yeah. Pizza Planet was wondering if uh, that would result in a, a map forfeit, but since he was not in the game, he was not one it of the six players. For it's good, but, but yeah, he will be unable to play for the rest of the game. So that is tough for KO, but based off that first map, I don't think he is... That, like, he is a very good player, don't get me wrong, but I, based off how they played, he doesn't seem to be that much of an asset here if they keep playing the way they did. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's interesting going into Hollywood, especially on defense, they'll be able to play the high ground, low ground type game 
Well, they can have Soldier play on one of the two high grounds there on defense, and they could have Zombie Dylan kind of roaming around. Hollywood is a pretty good map for Tracer. So this is a, definitely a map that uh, could favor Cosmic Omnics, and perhaps this is an entire map rotation that could uh, favor Cosmic Omnics here. Honestly... Although, yeah, maybe, maybe not with Hanamura and Watch Point. Based off that first map, Maze Grace seemed unstoppable on that soldier. Um, first map of Oasis, he stayed on that high ground, got the picks, dropped down when they needed him to, and kept going. Second map of Oasis, he comes back, gets a 3k to save the map, and it's just... Maze Grace just seems unstoppable here. You gotta find a way to... You gotta Ooh. find a way. Okay, so a further development... Um, we, the Cosmic Omnics, are going to have to forfeit. Ooh. No, that, that's going to make it 1-1. One, one. Interesting. 1-1, that... one, one. no. 1-0 one oh, in favor of Peace Planet. Oh, wait, they have to forfeit Oasis entirely. Oh, that's yeah, going to no, be heartbreaking. No, sure. They just have to forfeit Oasis. That's got to be tough. They, uh, so much momentum coming out of the gate there, and it's just halted by that pretty much just throw by watching that stream. That's, that's got to be heartbreaking for KO. Because they had a great map, and it's all thrown away. That, that's just, that's heartbreaking. Forward, KO, it's just like, you have such a strong Oasis game there. Just like, it was an insane map, and they just, that is, it's just shocking. Well, we'll have to see. They're going to have to. You know, it's one of those things where hopefully they're not too... Well, it's kind of wishful thinking saying they're not mentally boomed right now, because they probably are. So the, the way to alleviate that, that now is to come out here on Hollywood, be strong once again, tie up the series again, and put the momentum back in your favor. They can do that and win this series 3-1 to one or 3-2 to two or whatever. At the end of the day, it won't really matter too much if they get the win. That is, yeah, I mean, KO still has a chance here. They can just win out or even just get a draw and win two maps. They just have to, they just have to not count that Oasis map win as a loss and count it as a uncounted win. If yeah, you know what I mean. essentially, essentially. They, they, they have the positives to go off of. It's not like they got, it's not like they lost, you know, and, there wasn't yeah, like they... a terrible. It, it is a little bit def different to uh, be more Initiating mentally boomed by playing poorly, because then you might have starting to have like arguments and Doubts. you know kind of playing playing more individualistically Internal than as a team. Issues. Yeah, but so I think I think if I were K KO. Or someone on KO, I would just say, hey, it's okay. We still won that map. Just because it doesn't count doesn't mean we didn't win it. And just use that momentum. Even though it counts as a loss for that map, use that momentum going forward into Hollywood and just try and do what you do, do what they did best was have Mace Gray and Zombie Dylan do their thing on DPS and just keep them alive. 
Just put re resources into your star DPS so far. Here we go. Now Zombie Dylan's actually going to be on the Ash. Mace Gray on the Maze. So they have different compositions that they're going to wa want to run on each map. Playing the double shield as well. Healers will remain the same. And this time we actually see Insane going to go to the off tank role and Fishy going to play main tank. Interesting DPS choices here from Super Ninja and Green Wannabe not playing their normal Fara Tracer. And clean and CM Punk to play the Lucio Moira. No wall. Uh, the wall coming through from KO, but that they don't have a wall for this future fight. But hopefully, Zombie Dylan can just stay on the high ground. Pop shots from above, like he's doing, but Korean takes out the tanks. Korean on the Reaper already showing insane plays. He kills the tanks, and there's no front line for KO. KO. He gets Arbok too, and Korean just clears a whole team pretty much with just shotguns. Two shotguns was, in hand. That was a beautiful wall by Super Ninja, by the way. Perfectly walled off Griffin. Clean used the speed boost. They were all on him in, in an instant. And hey, that was, they were taken down. And when you lose one half a double shield, like, that's like the worst thing you can lose there. You do see Sweet switch over to that Reinhardt, though. New Super Ninja ki gets the kill on Zombie Dylan, challenging him on that Ash. And Super Ninja wins. Um, Swede pinning's insane, making a play here. And uh, yeah, just KO pushing forward. Arfal gets a big pick with the Cole West. It's insane though on the Zarya with a huge pick on the Swede. And now, just mid fight, Korean takes out Griffin again. And Pizza Planet keeps going on through. They need to get rid of Korean if they want to win a fight here. And Zombie Dylan gets rid of Insane. Insane Excellent play. awareness there by uh, Insane to notice that the healers were pretty far away from their tanks and were able to, they're relatively high charge right now, they were able to take them out pretty easily, so and this payload moving here. Got Super Ninja falling low, gets the resources, he is one and Super Ninja ends up getting the duel. Shattered coming in for Sweet, gets blocked but he does get the supports though. Lucio B comes through from Poopy and three ults from uh, three ults from Pizza Plenty used there, but they keep rolling on forward, showing P KO. Hey, we're real. We're here. We'll do whatever we want to get that point, and we'll just keep steam rolling on through if we want to. Yeah, I actually do like the uh, grab death boss and combo there. It's very hard to to counter that. They. Cosmic Onyx, they were doing good at first, but they just couldn't in the whole attrition at that point. Yeah, for sure. Here we are, just mid-fight again. We see just our Falcon. The healer's just trading heals here. Fishy gets her sweet, though, and Super Ninja gets Dylan. Griffin pushing forward onto Insane, gets the pick. Bob right behind him, though. I don't think he noticed. Another pick from Fishy with the Fire Strike and Super Ninja getting two and our fault gets the kill with the coal essence on the fishy but i don't think that's going to be enough to win the fight and super ninja kills our fault ah pizza planet is just rolling on through in this hollywood attack and with the rise of ash popularity lately we've seen how powerful bob can be like cosmic comics they had to split up and find ways to hide from the bob and that made it easy for Pizza Planet to find the pickoffs that they needed. Zombie Dylan though gets a huge pick and KO fighting back here. KO just making a huge play there. Zombie Dylan gets a big pick and Sweet just pushes through with it and just ends up having KO win that fight there because two big picks happened. I believe Fishy and I want to say Poopy went down. And just end of the fight there. Korean though, fighting in that back line, trying to gen that. Oh, shatter blocked in the shatter for Fishy. Uh oh, Nano comes from AJ. Griffin by himself on the Zarya though. Zombie Dylan trying to escape the DPS, but he can't. Super Ninja on the 
kills. Grav comes through. Dylan goes down though. And it looks like Pizza Planet is might push all the way through. Kareen with the zoning all in. Three minutes and 22 seconds left on the clock. Almost unstopped on that attack. For Pizza Three. Planet. Yeah, and what what helped that uh, last team fight there was um was Super Ninja's positioning. He was actually up on the ledge, and but and it was before Cosmic Omnix could really even notice, and he was able to get the pick off. I can't remember who it was on. It might have been on uh, Zombie Dylan actually, and so that, that's just an excellent job at using positioning to your advantage. Yeah, they're doing really great at just Ready getting pickoffs and making the making plays that they need to. Super Ninja did really good on that Ash that round, getting the picks they needed. I think that attack if Korean stays on that Reaper Terror, if they go to another attack round, Pizza Planet is, has a really good chance of winning this map. Super Ninja on defense with the Ash too. That's double hit scan here. It's gonna be a really good defense here. Is just sitting there, kind of walking around. You see Super Ninja taking the low ground. Actually, he is taking the high ground here. Maybe just for the dynamite. But they are running the Rhine signal. And I actually do kind of like the. Uh, well, actually, we'll see. I like the Zen pick in theory. I think they did need a little bit more damage overall, but running into double sniper might be tricky, although. Zombie Dylan with the quick pick. There is on Ash. AJ, though, on that Zen, will he be able to get the extra damage that they need? Pin coming from Fishy gets a little deep. Will they be able to capitalize on it? Zombie Dylan gets Fishy and Griffin gets Ponk, and now they just push on through. Oh, man. Insane job from KO on this attack now. Korean in the back though gets the pick on Zombie Dylan. He's not able to get any more though, and KO just rolls him through. Yeah, Zombie Dylan get the did get the bad spawn though, but that that was actually kinda close. We saw the Swede, I think, maybe dive in a little bit too soon. And when Griffin went in for the pin, Insane was able to hit him with the accretion and leave him vulnerable, but good job from uh, the healers there, keeping them alive. AJ from a distance pumping a lot of damage. This will heal you. Yeah, I think the switch to the Zen does work here. They just gotta keep in that, it's like a massive amount of damage and they'll win here. And Super Ninja kills AJ. That is a really big pick. It's Super Ninja again! Oh, that was... That was brutal. Super we were just Super talking Ninja about how good the... Uh, the uh, Zen pick was, and there you go. If you run it into, I guess this is kind of double sniper if you want to consider it pretty like half a sniper, maybe like one and a half sniper they're playing right now. So AJ yeah. will have some trouble with that. He's got to make sure he plays his angles right, especially with the Ryan shield. That's a thing. I mean, double, you have to be careful. Double hit scan is, I guess, the better name for it. Shatter comes through, but the lift comes through first before they can capitalize off of it. Transcends from AJ, keeping the whole team up. Up, Super Ninja uses Bob. Mines come through from Sweet, get nothing cleared out before they can do a thing. Griffin goes down for the coalescent, Sweet falling low. And so is Mace Gray, Sweet goes down, there goes AJ. And, oh, the Shatter, no escape for KO. And Fishy asserting dominance on this Reinhardt. Oh my, and you know, you pizza planet could going say that, in hard. You could say that maybe the Shadow is a little bit of an overinvestment, but they still have the High Noon and the Sound Barrier. They're not, they're not starving for ults right now. In fact, they almost have the ult advantage, especially if we see Insane build up the Gravitic Flux. Zombie Dylan on that big pick on Super Ninja though. And the pick on Fishy with the Bob and Zombie Dylan with three! Oh my! Zombie Dylan, you gotta cut it out, man. They have families. Oh, man. Good job by KO there on that push. And Mace Gray has the tire. Griffin with the shatter and the coalescence from our fault. With only the high noon from Pizza Planet and the switch into Zarya instead of the Sigma. KO has the ults to keep this push going. 
It looks like there I, will be a recontest. Did, uh, did Insane use Scooby Flux there? Because I almost would have stayed on Sigma, at least for this final pass. Is it the fight before? Already three were down, but Mace Gray uses the tire anyway. I think he was Our almost fault. up to another one, too. Up to another Vervidic Flux. He was like 75 when he died, I think. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that he decided to uh, forego the alt and go with the Zarya, but he is a very good Zarya, so I'm not going to you know, say this is a bad choice. And I'm just kind of surprised, especially considering I that that is actually that. a good... It's, it's a good initiation alt there if they wanted to use it. Against this Junkrat though, the Zarya does help just insane amounts of charge to come from that Junkrat. Sweet, big slam, drops the mines, just separating the team. The boop through, and there goes Fishy on the counter pin. And then Sane goes down, high noon use, Super Ninja gets a pick too. Korean gets a pick off of it too as well, and Sweet though, on the ball. Staying elusive, Bob comes in, just to contest really, Super Ninja though, dropping in from the high ground, making plays, gets the pick on the Griffin too, and wow, no Pizza Planet wins the fight there, Ooh, Super Ninja's I, heroics win that again. I, I don't really know why Griffin was kind of moving towards the county jail while Korean was using the high noon. It kind of costed AJ's life and they lost a lot of that long range damage that they could have used to really close out that point there and maybe with the Discord Orb they could have done a good job at prioritizing targets but sadly he did get taken out by that high noon. Zombie Dylan does have the Bob and they do have Transcendence going into this next fight though. Griffin pin gets counter pinned but I still think it hit insane. Griffin is trying to turn that shatter before he goes down, but Zombie Dylan and AJ, the two people with ults, go down first. There goes Griffin, and they're backing out clean here. They will get one more team fight before the end of the round, and Mace Gray on the Sombra now, maybe to try and contest that ball in the Rhine. And Dilfus, Sombra really does hurt people. Yeah, we'll. We'll see. They, they definitely have the alts to take this here. They're already going to have a massively inferior time bank, though. Let's see, Sweet trying to get aggressive at first. Bob comes in. Shatter comes down, just getting the Bob, and Griffin falls with it. AJ goes down, counterpin coming through. Bob dealing the damage, gets poopy. And Mace Gray gets insane, but insane gets zombie Dylan. Kareen in the back line, fighting Mace Gray. Super Ninja get, kills Mace Gray. But the cart's moving. Super Ninja gets in another pick, Bob comes in, and KO, just trying to stall here with the mines from Swede, Swede just trying to stall on the ball, goes down, AJ, the zoom yada, gets there, Zombie Dolan on the tracer, trying to stall as well, Mace Break coming in with the Sombra, almost has EMP, and doesn't get to use it before he dies. Zombie Dylan though on that tracer still touching, staying alive. All fault goes down before he can touch. Zombie Dylan touches to reset it but dies. Griffin is able to make it. And KO goes down 0 2. Oh, Unbelievable. My. Freaking insane. I think just picked Wrecking Ball just to like contest there at the end and was able to build up mines. But once again, Super Ninja taken out. Uh, AJ once again, and here's the play that I was talking about earlier. Look at this positioning. Okay, it was one screen. I, I knew it was one of them. Ooh, that is clean. Clean. From Super Ninja there. Yeah, that was the, I think, big hole in the fight there. As you see, you, you mentioned earlier, the big Maywall from Super Ninja on first point attack was what really jarred loose that insane attack from Pizza Planet, but... Super Ninja switching to the Azure, I was a little confused because that May was so great there, but it ends up working out insanely well with that Nutty plays Ash. Nut E plays as Ash. It's just. I think KO really got hurt by that map loss on Oasis. But they do still have a chance for the reverse sweep. I just think that they really got oh, to yeah, turn around here.
problem now is they're going to be on attack, though, and if they're not able to break through here, Pizza Planet um, was able to get the full hold against Nova in their game, so they are pretty solid on Volsky. Or, well, actually, no, we're going to a new Hanamura map. Hanamura now. Yeah, Hanamura. Although, so... that was one of their better maps back in uh, back in the past few seasons, so... KO's got a challenge in front of him, for sure. Yeah. We do see Wukong lose switch teams. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, they are just doing the swaps. Um, no subs, it looks like, for either team yet. But we are still waiting. Waiting. Um... We haven't seen any of the bench for KO coming yet. I think it was because Mace Gray and Zombie Donuts had just a strong showing on Oasis, but I think here you swap out Mace Gray. He did really good on Oasis. He got kind of out DPS by Korean and Super Ninja. I think it's time you just kind of put yeah, in. Yeah, I think maybe maybe you throw in Lady of Siren here, maybe get some verticality with that Fara. Especially to contest Super Ninja and distract yeah, him. Yeah, um, he might go with the Fara here as well on defense. Little, little less, uh, you know. It's probably a little harder to run defense Fara on Hanamura than it is on Full Sky Industries. But if played well, I don't think anyone's gonna deny that. But yeah, I think Pharmacy on Hanamura is an insane comp for defense because if you get a good enough hero on the low ground to help uh, draw the attention from the Fara that you have a very lethal combination there. Because Merc Mercy and Fara can just deal the damage from above. You have the shielding probably up front with a double shield or just a Ryan Zarya, even a Ryan Diva. And you have a pretty strong support line in Poopy and uh, Quandry here. Well, so that's what I was just about to say. Jondros Quandry typically plays tank. I think this is the first time I've ever seen him on support, so we'll see here. Perhaps he can show a little bit of flexibility here. You see a Glob Dragon come back in. System error. Maybe they put a Glob in for that baby. Sim. Sim is Ooh, yeah, quite perhaps good on this map. I was correct. Lady of Siren is it. coming in. From Mace Gray, too, I was also correct. Yeah, and, and, and we'll see. They, Lady of Siren can play more than just the Pharaoh. What else What else did they play, especially in the Rogue Ninjas game? I slip in my mind right now, but I know that that's not the only DPS was that they can play. Was it Sombra? Did they play a little Sombra? Maybe I some of our chat experts can can uh, enlighten us if they remember. Enlighten what us, chat. Said. Please. Oh, um, Nation asked what question, what's the question? Uh, the question is, what did Lady of Siren what, play other than What else, Farah? yeah, has, has Lady of Siren played besides the Farah? They mostly played Farah when they played their one map against, uh, C9. But I, I think they were a little more flexible there on, uh, in the game against Rogue Ninjas. But I, I can't remember. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. But you do see um, KO attacking first here, which could also be another sign for that Far Mercy with Lady of Siren, because Far is just a very strong hero on Hanamura in general. Ready for battle. Huh. Yeah, we are gonna see Super Ninja stay on the ash here. 
probably smart. I, I, I don't know if the defense far is quite as good on uh, Hanamura here. It's a little bit easier to get through the choke without getting pelted by the far rockets, and there's definitely a lot more ways to go, and you don't have to worry as much about the environmental kills as you would on Volskaya. Later Siren on the Tracer here, it might be a switch, but that's what we're seeing. Um, you do see the double shield come through from Pizza Planet, which is a pretty standard comp, I'd say, for defense here, as it is very strong. Arista Sigma is an insanely strong, excuse me, strong comp if used well. As you see, Siren using the flank route that are very well on Hanamura with Tracer. Just kind of distracting Pizza Planet's tanks. Griffin on that high ground though, just leaking in damage. Super Ninja kind of tossed for a loop here. He's watching all angles. Griffin comes in on that back towards assault on the assault from the back, and in comes KO on the big push. The Super Ninja just get the DMAC though, and Swede go dropping low. Swede is very low. Insane gets our problem, but Swede is getting some healing from that Lucio, but I wouldn't lower your show quite yet, but Insane! With an in free play on Arissa, getting three, and that's gonna be the team fight. Yeah, and just overall, Pizza Planet playing the double shield incredibly well, kind of cutting off all the angles from which KO can attack. We saw System Error was able to kind of keep Griffin in check when they were going in the back lines, and Lady of Siren just couldn't quite get the angles. Insane. Just how did Lady of Siren get up there? How, how? How? She's a little higher than she should be. Um, but she is going to use that high ground to her advantage, shoot from the high ground. And maybe BJ helping her just get out there. Griffin, though. And it looks like the push from KO from that side. Shatter comes through from Swede, knocks down. Hundred, uh. Knocks down Jandros for uh, Andre. Jandros. Uh, Lob Dragon, the tire. Anyway, AJ gets insane off map. Griffin gets Super Ninja. It's back and forth here. Air, though, that one tank alive. Kubi gets the resin. No. KO had that kind of just like gleam of hope and then instantly shut down by Glob Dragon and System Air. Yeah, sometimes the, the junk rat just sneaks up on you. You know, they, they were able to get a kill with the tire, but not only that, then they came through and got some more picks. That's kind of what junk rat is known for. Sigma from error. D Zombie Dylan goes down, and there goes Sweden. Uh, before the fight even gets interesting, the fight's already over. Griffin and AJ, you better get out of there, and oh no. They don't get the stack or the Honda Griffin, which could have been big if they got it. Wait, a s Siren going sim? Might be a little bit late for a sim turret, or a sim teleporter. Yeah, I, this, this is kind of maybe desperation mode, trying to kind of find something that works here. They're gonna have Zombie Dylan try to match Glob Dragon on the Junk rat here. Sweet on the ball, distracting them from the teleporter, but Glob! Glob saw it! Oh my! Griffin and with the Diva Bomb though. This is why oh. you don't run Sim into the Junk Rat. So you can just immediately put either a trap or a concussion mine right where the teleporter is and get everyone when they come through. Just frantic switches coming from. From KO, and this looks rough for them. They are a little bit frazzled by this defense. Yeah, and they, if anything, they're gonna get. Griffin's out of mech, too! Oh and no! Arfong might get the coal essence, but look at the alts coming online for Pizza Planet. AJ gets Despite the touch, though. Over. And so does Zombie Dylan in. Uh, Swede, Saren goes down there and goes off. Oh my! It's big! Tire coming in. Glob Dragon just looking for any lingers. Doesn't get any. Will Griffin be able to make it on the Rhine? No. And KO. 
get full held, and that's gonna be the match. Yep, they can only get the draw here. That's gotta be heartbreaking. Brutal turn of events here for Cosmic Omnix. I guess one thing that can salvage it is getting the draw here and winning on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Then their map differential will still actually be pretty solid. I believe they're at minus one right now and only go down to minus two at one and two on the season record, match record. You know, they'll. That won't be so bad. Yeah, KO, they started off so strong on Oasis, and I think ever since that, just that penalizing forfeit of that map, they have just seemed off. They haven't been able to find their stride since then. Granted, I mean, Super Ninja coming in, I mean, Attackers just playing unreal on the Ash. Gonna go to the Farah. Uh, I really don't see many scenarios where Cosmic Omnix full holds this, but they do have the hit scan here with Zombie Dylan. They are gonna run the double shield. Well, a lot of definitely a decent chunk of shield break there on Pizza Planet. Which would be interesting to see what what the strategy is. I was actually kind of expecting Pizza Planet to go with the sim turret or the uh, the sim teleport like they often do with Glob Dragon on the sim, but and to switch it up here. Here we see the same kind of approach from KO, but with a Ryan instead of an Arissa. Siren on that Sonic, uh, on that Symmetra. Injury goes down early, but gets res. No res mid fight for Pizza Planet here. Siren is charging up that beam, looking to start the chain, but Glob Dragon and Ninja. On the DPS, get two quick picks. Sweet gets insane, but that's not enough. And Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet looking to go 3 0. And yo, nope. No contesters here. No one able to touch, and KO loses map 3. 3 0. Off the bat. Pizza Planet looking incredibly strong after map 1. Yeah, and we, we saw AJ almost get the boot onto the, uh, onto clean there, getting the res, but perhaps that was a miscommunication because I think then we saw Zombie Dylan miss a couple shots there, maybe was anticipating the Mercy not to be booped there, the, it takes quite a distance for the res to be cancelled, so... The boop probably wasn't gonna work there. Yeah, that's gotta be heartbreaking for KO though. They so close to pulling off, in my opinion, an upset against K uh, Pizza Planet. Even though they had the same record, Pizza Planet just overall looks like the stronger team. And now, no upset gonna be seen here. It's 3 0 and probably going into a map 4 where. They can still get one for their map differential, but based off what how they've been playing in these last two maps, it doesn't look great. Yeah, they were able to get the get the fourth map off of C9 there. Granted, that game overall was a little closer than this one. I mean, granted, they technically no, map won forfeit. on Oasis there, but I will say... Hollywood and Hanamura kind of more definitely in the favor of Pete's Planet, whereas we did see Cosmic Omnix put up a pretty solid solid fight against C9 on King's Roll and Volskaya Industries, so I don't know, maybe perhaps it's the opposite for Cosmic Omnix, maybe this map rotation is not to suit what they want to play. But now for KO, you can use this as a momentum booster here, because you can say, hey, we did really good on Oasis, we know that that's not a map that we need to worry about anymore, but based off of how this map 4 goes, they know they have to work on their Hanamura attack and their Hollywood defense. Consider that said, Wait. their map 4 though. Hold on! Another development! 
KO no is getting that map back. No way. The arcs have made an overruling. Huh. Now this adds a very KO has a chance. KO yeah, they are technically has a still chance. in this game. Wait a minute. What a remarkable turn of events here. Jibba is typing, one of the architects is... here will give us the official ruling here, but This wow. is just that the that's the momentum burst that they need for the um for KO. This is what they needed to kind of just be like, hey, we're still here, we're we're in it, we're real. Hi. Oh god, now we have both teams with the uh the uh Ooh. chat bug here. I have gotten confirmation from Jibba, one of our arcs, that it will be 1-1 one -one due to the rule having a misword. There was miswording in the rule for stream sniping. So now it will be 1-1. One -one. Wait, 2-1, right? 2-1, actually. I was going to say, there's no draws there. Yeah. So Pizza Planet do still have the lead here, but yes, Cosmic Omnics can still win map 4 and force this to a map 5. Teo's got to have some more momentum now. they got to be up B here. Like, they got to... In my mind, if I were in those comms, I would be like, Hey, guys, we have a chance here to make this upset. We just got a miracle of a of a ruling in our favor we need to capitalize off of it and win on Gibraltar what a what a crazy roller coaster that was first we were like nope they don't have to forfeit it because they weren't in the game itself and then like oh all you have to do is be in the lobby and it counts as the map forfeit but then I guess perhaps that the wording in the rules is Didn't incorrect yeah so yeah, because I, I always thought it was just the ones that were in the game that forced you to have the the map forfeit. Now, granted, no matter what, uh, I forgot who it even was at this point. Uh, Kakashi. Yeah, Kakashi. Um, he would have had to have set sit out for the rest of the game anyway. He still but does. But since he wasn't, well, yeah, obviously. And. Uh, but, yeah, because technically how that's implied is the only reason why it should be the six people is they should be the only ones in a group chat or, or in the in the team, uh, chat. team chat. So, so e even if Kakashi was... Uh, I guess stream sniping, I, I would want to say that it's probably not. It was maybe unintentional, you know, it was just kind of on the stream, forgot that. I'd, I'd like to give people the benefit of the doubt on that one sometimes, because it is it is definitely a thing that you can do. You're excited for the game, you want to watch it from the cast's You want to see what they're saying you. about you? Yeah. <laughs> so, You'll uh, be like, oh, they like me. <laughs> but, um, I forgot where I was... Oh yeah. So ba and and basically like, what am I trying to finish this off with? It, it, if, coming in, though. E even if you are watching the stream, but you're not in that team chat, you won't be able to communicate. It wouldn't matter if you were stream typing at that point. The only thing that you could maybe do is like in the team's personal discord you could like type messages i guess that would be the only thing but even then like you could not really do that very effectively in terms of like on the spot decisions that need to be made they usually subs coming in for a pizza planet though they do put in psycho and korean on dps um, CM Punk comes in for tank two at uh, insane, I believe gets sit, uh, gets sat and fishy back on support. Or was fishy playing support last map? I don't. Who is playing support? Was. No, it was Poopy and uh, uh, John Joe's. Yeah, so fishy, fishy going back to uh, 
support. They played support there on Oasis. Now CM Punk's back in, as well as Psycho Mantis, so... Kind of the, the one, like, we, we see half the roster that kind of made up that Oasis, and then the other half that just kind of made up that uh, um, defense there on Hanamura. So we'll see. I, I, I don't know who has the advantage here on Watchpoint Gibraltar. I think now that Zombie Dylan is kind of alone here, Super Ninja not being in to battle him on that Ash, he might have the advantage, especially here on defense. With There's a lot of high ground to work with on Watchpoint Gibraltar. We'll have to see what they want to do, and Lady of Siren could bust out the Phara if they want to. A lot of, a lot of interesting ways to use Phara on this map, so... We'll have to see. Lot, lots of opportunities here for Cosmic Omnix to get back in this series. But for sure, in terms of gameplay, Pizza Planet do still have the momentum right now. Gibraltar, though, it's it's a very good map. Uh, I think Gibraltar is one of my favorite escort maps. Es uh, yeah, escort I, I maps. I would agree. Uh, I would agree. I like I like Gibraltar as well. It's kind of kinda, exact. It's, for me, it's it's kind of on the same level as King's Row, where it feels balanced. Like, both the defense attack and the and offense defense. have good chances to do, you know, both attack and hold. There is one issue. I, I don't love point B on Watchpoint Gibraltar. I think the, the high ground is a little bit too abusable at times with the, the airship, but otherwise, I this is definitely a classic map, and I'm glad to see it back in the rotation. We actually have not seen it in a very, very long time. I believe the last time we saw it was week one and two of last season, so... It's been over a season it's since we've seen Watch Point Gibraltar. I, I don't even know if we really saw it being picked in the playoffs. Arriving at Watch Point Gibraltar. Initiating match. Well, I am glad that we have some stakes here on this uh, fourth map. You know, as, as, as much as every map is important, and it is important to try and minimize the damage with map differentials, seeing that the, it, the match as a whole is still on the line here Attackers in, the, in the fourth map is, is really nice. Yeah, I think that KO with this, like, new... Like development, half they know that this is a miracle. They have to know that this is their chance to win this whole map, this whole thing. They just gotta win this, and they gotta win enough control. And that's it. And I think that they can do it if they just play well, like the general. So I, I, I finally figured out what Lady of Siren played at another DPS, and that was May. I had a very good May there. On 66 against Rogue Ninjas. Ah, uh, and Zombie Dylan getting the pick on the Mercy, and Psycho Man kind of has to play a little more passes there. Not the no Mercy pocket, but Korean on the tracer on the flank. Almost got Dylan, and Psycho finishes the kill. Oh, Psycho! Man, this falls one won. though, but he gets oh. the healing. Eric Demex though. Fishy falling low, sweet as well falling low. The res on the zombie do to stop that far rampage. Zombie don't falling low, and so is AJ though. They gotta get out of there, AJ. Just escapes. Coston's coming in from our fault to keep that pressure on him. Rock comes from Griffin. Great, zombie don't gets a pick on Korean. Great job from these Pizza Planet DPS. They're both putting so much pressure on Zombie Dylan. I mean, he's trying to aim at the far in the sky, and 
Crew wannabes there on the flank. Excellent job. Is it great? Off the to take out there. Job from the tanks of Cosmogomics on from me. They they've been able to hold off the rest of Pizza Planet while they Zombie Dolan gets pressured. They've been able to make sure that they can't capitalize off it. The shatter comes through. Sweet gets Korean with the pin. Lift comes in from the Sigma. Zombie Dolan gets Psycho. And now. We see a revived KO in this fight. You can oh, definitely just see more excitement in the way they play. I think in my opinion, you can see the more excitement in the way they're playing from KO. You can see that they are now like, they know that they have a chance here. And they are, they know that they can do this. Koran though, still on that flank looking for Zombie Dylan. They, they, they did use a lot of alts, KO did on that previous team fight. They used the Blizzard, which is the most important alt in their team composition. And then, now you have a lot of alts coming up for Pizza Planet. I would imagine that they'll be able to take this here soon. For sure, the DPS of KO, I mean, not KO, Pizza Planet, making sure that Zombie Dylan has nowhere to look, and Psycho gets rid of both of them with the Barrage! And Pizza Planet, big play there from Mantis. They had to use pretty much everything though. The Diva Bomb initially didn't get uh, any value because Lady of Siren with a nice wall and Korea not able to find anything with the Pulse Bomb, so it took the the Barrage and the Shatter for them to win that team fight. We'll see if Cosmic Omics can contest here. They would maybe have a chance, and yeah, the Swede's gonna be here. Zombie Dylan goes onto the McCree and gets rid of Punk. Rocket's just leaking from Psycho. System Eric gets out of mech. Zombie Dylan goes down to Korean though. Health bar disappears so fast when you're going against that tracer. And you just see Korean now just trying to battle in the back line, but Yeah, they've gotta take out Korean. Pizza Planet are falling low. Psycho goes down and now it's just Swede swinging on point with his hammer. It's just me. It's just me and my hammer swinging along. That was that was Korean. close. Korean wannabe Korean on the flank. almost. On Swede. Swede gets picked by Korean. Korean makes a huge play with that. That's big for Pizza Planet. They have the Gravitic Flux and the Blizzard. Though KO, dude, this is their chance right here. Gravitic Flux slamming him down. Siren gets Korean with an icicle. Orthol building up these cool Siren. essences. Siren with the space goal. This space is punk away from the rest of his team. And no one's a point. No one's a point. Beautiful zoning alt from Lady of Siren. But one name that we haven't been talking about too much this match is Orthol. I think Orthol built up about four coal essences there in that match and was or in that map there and just keeping the team alive and some of those team fights able to sustain long and also providing a lot of damage we saw cm punk kind of try and get into the back lines there but was pelted by that um coalescence and couldn't really get the peel from the rest of the team so here we go cosmic omnics with a monster chance here to send this to a map five KO is just blowing my mind here. It's like I just I uh, I'm at a loss of words. I I'm at I'm at a loss of words. I, I can't. This is just like Tantalizer Sour versus Beast Edition when we cast last. Like this is almost as mind blowing as those Voskaya defenses where they come back when all seems lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's almost the exact gonna... scenario. All seems lost until an insane turn of events comes. It's just, oh, it's yeah, it's yeah the, the resemblance is actually uncanny when you put it like that. So, let me see here. Perhaps me and you as commentators are the men of chaos or something like that. Like we caused a lot of chaos. But uh, we do see Psycho Mass on the Strunk Rider who did really good, but the hat comes through and he falls low, but he does get heals. Sweet falling low as well, and System Eric gets a huge pop to the head from Zombie Dylan. Fishy burning on that right side from Zombie Dylan, tries to drop shot him, and there goes Fishy. 
Vicious goes down. That's a big pick in favor of KO. Griffin goes gets out of mech though. Griffin falls real low, but he's able to stay up just barely. Hack comes through on the punk, and Punk ends up getting a pick on Swede, and Jandra's Quandry with the with the coalescence getting rid of Griffin, and now KO's got to retreat. Yeah, good positioning here from the healers on the side of Pizza Planet. Jandra's Quandry able to just build up that coalescence really quickly, save that team fight there. Feels like this map is. Each team fight has been won based on which team has coalescence right now. For which someone we haven't seen on, yeah, it's crazy. For someone we haven't seen on support yet, he's doing quite well. Um, tire comes through. Zombie don't get to pick on CM Punk though, and the tire gets destroyed by AJ. <laughs> Battle Mercy. Rip to Mantis. The shatter comes through. Error goes down, but not finished. He's burning though. Falling low. You see Fishy caught by himself. There goes Error in it. KO. Will they get the map one here? Sweet. Gets trapped. It would stay up. Mantis though. Doesn't have anything to go for the recontest here though. Air does have that Sigma ult. Bob comes in. Korean with the high noon. Zombie Dylan though gets a pick with the bomb and Lady Star gets a Oh no! Down three! Air uses ult. Gets no one. Or gets Zombie Dylan actually. Sweet. Goes down to Air. Griffin coming back though and Air goes down. EMP comes through. Zombie Dylan just keeps getting more picks. It's insane. Psycho Miss comes in with a last second touch, kills AJ, and KO, we're going to a map 5! We're going to map 5! map 5. We saw 4 out of the 6 games in week 3 go to map 5. I mean, it's just... This is what I like to see. Both teams going at it equally right now. We don't see a second point or a third point in this fourth map. Yeah. And... You almost called it there with saying that you do see KO take the fourth map off C9 when they played last, and it's Your just class. uncanny to how this map is related to matches that we have seen. It's just like, it's, it's, it's nuts. And of course, uh, in Cosmic Omnic's previous game, they had to win map four as well to force the map five. Because Rogue Ninjas had one on Busan and Volskaya Industries, so now here we go. Can they do it again? And and we we also have to mention that Pizza Planet lost in a map five last week. They got reverse swept by We the Ops, so a lot on the line right now. I mean, this is both teams are gonna want this win so bad. It's crazy how that rule just went made it go from a blowout to an insanely close game. Like, it went from a possible 4-0 to a map 5 in a matter of seconds. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's just nuts. It's I'm at a loss of words again. This this has so much resemblance to Tantalizers and Beast Edition because of how close it was. Like, Volskaya was the story of that Beast Edition Tantalizer Sour match. Yeah, was... some of those were just insane. Like, I, I was at a loss for words commentating that game. Like, I didn't even know what to say. Like, like me and you both. Both teams were just able to come back in and find the picks. Like, oh my goodness, that was insane. And so far, this has been a quite exciting game as well. We yeah, are going to just... Young Tower, another map that we have not seen yet. I think Lee Jong. What... Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say we'll have to see what comps will be run here oh, for man. these teams. I think Lee Jong is a very great control map. I think it's maybe one of the best ones, just based off like the difference in each map. Map. Like you have one indoor one that's like very close quarters and very like very kind of like team like mid fight determined. You have Gardens, which is a very early fight-determined map. 
And then you have, in my opinion, the Night Market, a very late fight determined map. It's like, you have yeah, a yeah, very... Yeah, definitely see that. You have a very different type of map in Li Zhang, and that's what makes it so good. And I think if we were able to call this game right now, I really think that you got to give this support MVP to Anime Wee BJ. He's just been insane. I, I, honestly, I, I was also thinking R Falk as well, though. Like, definitely, probably was the better support there on Watchpoint Gibraltar. For uh, sure on Gibraltar, but AJ on the Oasis and on, I believe it was Map Two, a Hollywood. He was just insane. Oh, uh, AJ is just good at. I've just seen him play support for two matches in a row that I've commentated. And he's been amazing, everyone. That's true. He really is among... Not only is he one of the better supports... He's probably almost the best support in Tier 3, but he is one of the better supports in Tier 2 as well. So... And yeah, totally. We do see, we do see Super Ninja come in, though, and he is coming off an insane Ash game today. So far, yeah. and it's she completely shut down Zombie Dylan on both of those uh, Hollywood and Hanamura. I mean, we saw Zombie Dylan get a couple picks here and there, but it was mostly the Super Ninja show. <laughs> Zombie Dylan might have to really step up here. We were talking about uh, him putting himself in that conversation of elite DPS. Well, Super Ninja is an elite DPS, in my opinion, and if, <laughs> if he can. If Zombie Dylan can step up here and win this battle, that might be what it takes for Cosmic Omnics to get the win here. I think that if you're looking at the lineups for this like pre-match, it's undetermined. You cannot determine the way this map will go just based off lineups. Because you've had insane DPS play from both teams. You've seen heroic support plays from both supports. And you've seen insane frontline holds from the tanks. It's just like, it's undetermined. Swede has been phenomenal on that Reinhardt. I think he should stay on that role. I think Zombie Dylan on the Tracer and the Ash has been now arriving at me down. close to unstoppable. Super Ninja on the Ash, same way, just completely unstoppable. Glob on the Junkrat, but Sim is also very strong on this map, especially Control Center. <laughs> Sweet on the uh, ball was also pretty good. Definitely too. the best on uh, Night, Market Night Market and uh, Gardens. I would actually say this is probably the one map here on Li Xiong where it, you wouldn't favor the Sim. But we are going to see Super Ninja back on the Ash. I almost wonder if we want to see... Oh, may I switch to the Reaper. Okay, so that kind of changes things. I, I, we see Lady of Siren on the... Solber here. I was thinking Zombie Dylan could go to the Tracer again, and they just both go after Super Ninja and try and shut him down here, because he really was causing them problems there. And you do see the Tracer, but a Soldier instead. Ooh. I guess Zombie Dylan with the backline pressure and Lady of Siren with the frontline pressure could really be a big play here. Zombie Dylan and Sweet already going on the flank as the two disturbances of the team, I guess, and. Here we are. We have Griffin on with. You see Griffin solo shooting against the Sigma. Very interesting. Insane pushing up on him, knowing he has a bigger shield here. Knowing he can play more aggressive here. And a big pit on the Swede, but the big, bigger slam coming through. Punk extending a little bit far for an anti diva. He's almost deep. Mac, he gets the healing in time, though. Swede coming back in with the slam, just putting in that pressure. And Punk gets D Mac. Glob gets the pick on Siren, though. And there goes Griffin, and I think Pizza, yeah, Pizza Planet wins this fight, though, even though Glob Dragon and Zombie Dylan trade. But Swede, already 80% of those mines. Yeah, a lot of times in those long fights, it will favor the Junkrat, just based on getting positional advantages and just doing probably the most damage of the DPS in the lobby here. They, they needed to take out the Junkrat sooner there, and that was kind of the story on uh, Hanamura as well, so let's see if KO can adapt. You do see Griffin, I, I don't think the Sigma pick is the way! Insane huge shatter, but a huge sleep from AJ. 
Our fault on the coalescence, making sure the whole team stays up. Cloud Dragon low, gets stuck, gets killed. There goes Cloud Dragon. Mines come through, and Sam gonna clear him with his shield, but no shield left. No clearance from those mines. The whole section of the point is gone. All comes in from Siren. Insane and Fishy on the flank. Insane was anti, but he still does it. Big trade, so Griffin, a lone man on point with Swede. The tanks, like I said, did pretty good. Griffin gets nothing with the lift. Using the Gravitic Flux there. Ooh. Maybe, yeah, maybe that, we see yeah, a switch here, though. Overzealous. Maybe we do see a perhaps, switch from the perhaps. signal. Mm -hmm. No. This, that was, ooh, that was... The power of yeah, that's I definitely don't all they know if I'm, I'm loving the ball Sigma here. It, it's not a bad it's idea, a but shielding. perhaps you need maybe more dive-oriented healers, maybe? Maybe you need, like, a Xan? Oh, comes in! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye KO! The double bomb! The tire and the diva bomb! Wipe KO! Siren coming in for the touch with Swede though. You will see some fight left in him. Siren, the wall goes down instantly. Fishy's orb just. The skill orb putting in pressure. Blob gets AJ. Griffin trapped on oh. point! Ripped to the diva! Oh. Shatter kids insane with the BM shatter. Died and three times so with strong. nano boost. Oh, just that's exactly what happened on Hollywood. He died like three times with the transcendence. You know, I I uh, that that's that just makes you sick sometimes. Like you, I'm sure AJ is really kicking himself there. Lots of times. For not using it earlier. Yeah. He, it's tough. Sometimes you just don't see those opportunities, but man, if there's at least something there, you gotta take it. It's better than not using it at all. And yeah, that's yeah. tough. As a Zen main, I, I know his pain, especially on using Transcendence there. It's, it's a tricky ult to build up. It's one of the slower ones in the game, and it's pretty impactful. You wanna make sure it's used well, so... I don't mean to cut you off here, but eight. you do see a dive from KO. Chaos Ring Dive, it's, it's here. Sweet on the ball, Griffin on the Winston, this is interesting. And Glob already goes down. Yeah, was like this something KO was saving? The... Oh no, insane. <laughs> insane. Ah, uh, he went for a swim. Except for he was already swimming with Fishy before, I don't know why he went to go meet others. Our fault on that, Moira getting the pick and the supports for KO are just unstoppable so far. They're doing great. Our fuck though, falling low. Glob falls low though. It's a big play there to stop him there. And Sam and, and, falling up to about half gets out. And, and now it's up to Pete's Planet to make the adjustments here. What what do they want to switch to? Are see? They're going to play more of a long range DPS with the Ash, but I don't know what other changes they need to make. You see you Punk getting Siren, but Zombie Dylan getting the 2k with the Pulse Bomb, but Punk gets 3! Yeah, Punk! Oh my goodness. But Siren and Zombie Dylan are still alive. AJ gets the rise on Siren to put him back in this fight, and it looks like Siren! They whole KO! Even when Pizza Planet thought they had it, Pizza Planet, I mean not Pizza Planet, KO just shuts it down. Coalescence coming in, Griffin gets a kill on Dragon, and oh man, the dive from KO looks pretty unstoppable so far. Yeah, and, and no other responses here from Pizza Planet other than switching to the Ash. I don't know, maybe... They're gonna swap off Glob, the Ash back I... to the McCree and to a Reaper yeah. now for Glob. This is interesting because we haven't seen Glob on that Reaper that often because you usually see Korean or Super Ninja on it, so this is interesting. And oh my! Fishy already goes down and there goes oh. the supports! Lady of Siren on that bar is unstoppable! Griffin in the back line on that Winston is just showing him. Hey, got monkey! I'm Gorilla, I will slap you. Come here. 
Monk fall they, below they the siren again. They only have to use the barrage and the. They have to use the beat to even rage. touch. The support alts are used to have to stay on point. That's insane. Siren gets fishy. Sweet, no, sweet. That's a big opening. Griffin gets super ninja though. Openings are closing. Bomb, punk, bang. Our punk goes down. Poopy goes down to the bar, bar rocket. Zombie Dylan gets glob. Punk falling low. Able to stall for a little bit longer. Fishy able to touch, but I just think the trickling isn't going to be enough. And Zombie Dylan on that tracer and Siren on the far is just mind blowing. Yeah, and here we go for the first time. Super Ninja kind of getting shut down here. Trying to play the hit scan into the Fara, but I almost never got the picks. And even if they did, they were usually quickly rezzed by AJ. Oh man, this, I mean, we got to see. We're, we're, are we going to see maybe a little bit more of a dive composition from Pizza Planet here now on the Wrecking Ball of their own? Insane, definitely. One of the best wrecking balls we have here in tier three. This should be a good battle on the final point, but they don't have the hit scan. Lady of Siren's still gonna play the Fara, and this might be the best Fara map on Lee Xiong Tower. For sure. And Siren, they're running that dive again, and the dive proven to be really good, but Glob on the so the Symmetra could be very unstoppable. Could be very good here. Insane already gets a pick on Griffin, falling a little bit far forward. And um you do see just Siren putting those rockets in from behind, but good job by Pete's point just hiding from him. Not getting uh, not getting bothered by him, but Super Ninja with two picks on that Reaper, but Zombie Dylan able to shot him down. And the DPS and the Mercy are still alive for KO. Could they get a clean re-engage here before Super Ninja gets back? Yeah, I, th I think Griffin went in a little early on the engage. I mean... It definitely the one you want going in first to take out those sim turrets but the, the healers were still a little far back I think AJ is gonna be popping the wave siren here but but our fault just wasn't there it was with zombie dealing you do see super ninja come back and immediately get two picks that is that is devastating this reaper is really putting a hole in this comp and, and a nice boot from Insane to cancel AJ's res that was a big play there and siren gets a pick on the fishy though this could be winnable if they get more picks. Zombie Dylan just putting in shots from that tracer from distance so he doesn't get picked off. Goes in, sticks. There goes Glob. Wait, KO can flip this. They do switch over to the Psychoma Ball, which didn't work so great. Vichy comes back on the Mar with the Coalescence almost instantly. Siren, Barrage, doesn't get anything. Punk able to oh, deny it. Eaten by CM Punk, yeah. But Siren. Making sure that it doesn't go in vain and does get the pick on Punk. But that might not be enough. Ninja extending a little bit, maybe trying to contest the Fara. Big pick from Swede. Wait a minute. This could be huge. I don't know. This this isn't looking good, though. Center, They've only got the back. support alts and Super Ninja with the Death Blossom. I... Diva Bomb. That is devastating. Punk has been on fire with the bomb. Beat comes through. Super Ninja gets a pick on Siren. Alt use gets nothing. Our folk with the Colossus is just trying to contest them. Trying to get rid of Glob before he goes down and no. And it looks like KO goes down in an insane map five. Pizza Planet does pull through though. And that was the Pizza Planet special there, having Glob Dragon on the Sim. I mean, that, that's what you see when they are on the point with Glob Dragon on the Sim. They are nigh unattackable, and that, that's what happened. They, we, we just didn't see a coordinated enough push from uh, Cosmic Omnix there to really not only take out those Sim turrets, but to continue to be healthy on the point, and yeah. Close, right down to the wire, but Pizza Planet will escape here with a victory. And for MVPs, I mean, for sure, Super Ninja on the DPS. Literally, 
won all the maps he was in. We were getting so many crucial pickoffs. Did kind of get shut down there on Night Market, but other than that, they were pretty much running dominant there on on the on the Ash and playing Reaper at the end there. That was a good adjustment. Play a little bit more brawly into that dive. Shut down that Winston. As for the others, I this is tough. I think we saw a lot of good tank play out from Pizza Planet. You could give it to both CM Punk or Insane there. I think they both actually played quite a nice game. Yeah, in my in my opinion, Super Ninja does get the DPS MVP here. But I think Punk gets it for tank just because of those diva bombs. I think almost everyone got a kill. And of course, there at the at the end on on gardens, they got the crucial eat onto Lady of Sirens barrage that saved the team, and were able to keep them alive in that team fight, which they ended up winning. And that's when Cosmic Omnix had their best alt advantage. So heads up play there. That that is definitely a play that deserves to be recognized and um, yeah. Giving him I, tank DPS, I think, is definitely the play. I think CM Punk gets tank MVP. I think we give an honorable mention to Insane. Because for he sure. Play. I, I, Insane played Super, Ninja, play Super well. Ninja gets DPS MVP, and I think for support MVP, it, it's got to be AJ. AJ was too consistent. For sure. I, I almost wonder, though, like, if... Maybe our Falk was maybe a little bit more consistent because, like, we saw AJ kind of hang on the Zen there on Hollywood for maybe a little bit too long. We saw him not able to use Nano Boost on uh, Control Center, Lee Jiang. I, I don't know. I think maybe you could argue that, yes, AJ had the higher highs, but he also had the lower lows, whereas our Falk kind of was more kind of down the middle but was also building up uh coal essences like none other it's tough a aj has gotten so many mvps at this point it's tough it's insane. Wanna give him an give him another one but uh, mention. Give I, think that, mention uh, for that I think that uh i think that uh well if Kuro wants to it. break the tie did mention or oh wait oh someone else is actually on the other account. I don't know who it is, but yeah, I, I'm willing to give it to our folk this time around. I think I think they played a very good game. I think our folk gets it here, I guess, and then you have um, Anime Weeb AJ as an honorable mention, maybe? Per yeah, yeah, let's do that. We'll have, we'll have, yeah, DPS, clearly Super Ninja, and we'll have uh, Tank MVP CM Punk with an honor mental to, to insane, and our Falk with the healer or the support MVP. I mean, do we even need to shout out AJ? He's already gotten one in tier three and two in tier two. I mean, but he, he's he can take a day without it. <laughs> but per, um, perhaps, and I'm sure, like it won't be his last. I mean, it won't is, be his last. But um, yeah, it's oh, that was that was a fun match to watch. Yeah, very very exciting. And if that if if that just shows what we're in for week five coming in here, oh man, we got a lot of great games. I can I'm excited. We see the matchup: C9, Diving Phoenix, top two teams. We see. What else are we seeing? Weedy Ops versus Nova. That should be a good battle. Some great DPS play in that one. Who else? Yeah. The White Walkers play this week. I don't remember. They play Corgi Corpse. No, they don't. They played them week one. Yeah, I'm going to game times right now. Nope, they play Tater Pots. That should be a good battle, Ooh. too. Tater Pots have Wait, a chance. Wait, that's my team. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make it. Cause, oh, that's right. Um, I'm going to go kart trails this weekend, but um, yeah, that was yeah, so. insanely fun to commentate and watch. Always fun to do with you, Kirby. Yep, of course, you as well. <laughs> All will, right, yeah, uh, that will be it for the stream. Thanks everyone for watching. Yeah.